Collaboration is key to design development, but there are many hurdles that you can encounter. These include difficulty finding common time to review designs, difficulty sharing files to members outside of your organization, or even frustrations when trying to install third-party CAD viewers. eDrawings is a great tool that has been an industry standard, allowing SOLIDWORKS users to share their designs. And while it helps simplify the process, there are still situations in which your collaborator may run into difficulties installing it, or even potentially pull a file from an old email and provide feedback on an out-of-date design. That's why SOLIDWORKS has rolled out the new share and markup capability. This will allow you to create a link that can be sent to anyone to review and markup your design directly from a web browser. Let's take a look at how it works. But first, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on our latest content. Before taking a look at the capabilities, let's review some prerequisites. This capability is powered by 3D Experience, so you'll need to have a 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS or a SOLIDWORKS license with cloud services. All new SOLIDWORKS licenses have cloud services included, but if your license was purchased prior to July 1st, 2023, then this will only be available if you've upgraded your service to include cloud services. If you are using SOLIDWORKS with cloud services, then you'll also need to ensure that you have at least SOLIDWORKS 2023 Service Pack 2 or above installed. Inside of SOLIDWORKS, with the design you'd like to share open, you can select the option to share a file. It's important to note that whoever you share this file with will have the option to download this file, so you can drop down this command to determine which file format you would like to have shared. The 3 dxml file format is a great option if you would like to protect your IP. It's similar to an eDrawings file format, a lightweight file that is used just for graphics and measurements. It cannot be opened in SOLIDWORKS or used in any actual CAD model. Once you proceed with the command, a dialog window will appear and provide you with the option to share externally and whether or not you would like people to be able to leave feedback via comments. At this point, we can copy the link and send to anyone we would like to review the design. With the option to restrict access to specific users, you get an added level of control by restricting only specific accounts to be able to review the design. You can choose to enter a message, and upon proceeding with the share, those parties will receive an email with a link and the message included. Regardless of which method you have chosen, the receiving party will be prompted to log in. If they do not already have an account, they can create a free 3D Experience ID. If they previously had a SOLIDWORKS ID, they can use this to log in. Collaborators can then interact with the model, create section views, explode an assembly, create measurements, and mark up with their feedback. As the model's orientation is shifted, a markup will be saved to the original orientation and another markup can be created. Once they are done reviewing the model, they can post this feedback as a comment. Back in SOLIDWORKS, you can access the comment to review their markups and implement the feedback as needed. Once you have made your update, you can choose to share the file once again. This will present you with an option to maintain the same link and overwrite the version of the design that is there, or create an entirely new link that can be compared side by side with the original. The share and markup capabilities now available in SOLIDWORKS, powered by 3D Experience, open up a whole new world of streamlined collaboration. If you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out the description for additional resources and subscribe to our channel and socials to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from Swift.